So from Belfast in Northern Ireland, give her a shout. It's Kirsty Jess with Jack. Now, running in the main arena at Crofts is bad enough. Representing Northern Ireland is bad enough, but to go first as well just really does put the pressure on. So hopefully Kirsty's going to show us very nicely where they've got to go. They've got to follow the numbers round in sequence. If she takes an obstacle out of sequence, they'll be eliminated. There are no contact points, it's all jump tunnels and weaves. And I'll tell you a bit more about it at the moment. Oh dear, and you can see there was lots of shouting going on there. The dog picked up the wrong jump, and unfortunately there, Kirsty picked up an elimination. But give her a great big round of applause. It really is a very big ask. This is, uh, as I say, probably the, the top competition now in the country for international handlers. And now from Slovenia, give them a big welcome. And these people are, oh, they've travelled over from their countries. So representing Slovenia, we have got Matea Cucek. Uh, and this is a Border Collie, it's three years of age now, this dog. And if you watch, although we've got 21 different countries represented, agility is agility the whole world over. The language might change, but the body language doesn't. Everyone's got their own individual styles of handling. It's all about communications with your dog. The dog doesn't know where it's going. It relies solely on the handler to tell it where it has to go. And we have the very best of the best, as you can see. And what a great start that is for Slovenia and for Matteo Tite. A clear round, 32.83. So 21 starters. And now representing South Africa, give him a round of applause. Daniel G, this is with Meg, eight and a half year old dog. He's a working sheep dog. Kennel Club name is one of three. They're actually residing at the moment in Reading. So, no penalties for the dog barking. It just means that he's having a great time and he wants to do it just that little bit quicker. You watch Daniel as well. Look what he's doing with his hands. He's not allowed to touch the dog at all. So everything he's doing is with his voice and the majority of the instructions come from the handler's body language. So you can see he's turning his shoulders, getting in front of the dog now, making it exactly clear where he wants the dog to go. Nice sharp turn there, two more to go. Is it gonna be another clear round? Yes, it is. And that is Daniel G, clear round, representing South Africa, 33.55. Puts him into second place. So now, representing Sweden. It's Jorgen Telquist. Uh, and I'm not going to give you the Swedish name of this dog, but it's Zach, all right? It's the, so this is a five-year-old dog. He's been on the Swedish national team in 2007 in the World Championships and 2008. This dog also loves to uh, work sheep. And it's not about out-and-out -out speed, necessarily. What you need is nice, tight turns when they've got to come round the wing. And you can pick up an awful lot of time. This dog is tight. You can tell it's been to the World Championships. They're also run indoors on carpet. And it is a bit of an art form running on carpet. The dog does have to get used to it. In this country, we do run a lot of our competitions on grass. And there's a big difference running on carpet. Look at this. Nice tight turn around there. Go on, cheer him on. Come on, Sweden. Yes. Clear around. 31.69 into the lead he goes. So, now I'm going to have a problem. From Finland. Big round of applause. I'm going to have a go at this. This is Jarko Sorklodek. I'm hopeful that's somewhere close to it. He's from Finland, and this is a four-year-old border collie called Zen. Decathletes, Sirius Black. So we wish them the very best of luck. In the lead at the moment, we have Jorgen Telquist. Opting to leave the dog in the way. The time doesn't start until they go through the timing beams, which are just there by the tyre. So the time starts now. You can see the time on the uh, big screen in front of you if you want to know how he's doing. They must go in that far end of the tunnel where the number is. If they don't, they get eliminated. 
into the cloth tunnel, tests the confidence of the dog because it's very black in there. Nice sharp turn back across the arena. Low to speed into the other tunnel. And here they've got to call him. Oh, and he's just pushed in the wrong side of the jump. He's been eliminated, but never mind. Give him a great big round of applause all the way from Finland, Thomas Yarko. So now from the Isle of Man. It's an island. Debbie Martin now with B. And they're from Ramsey on the Isle of Man. This is a six-year-old border collie. Second visit to Crufts. So, and they're away. Out the starting blocks. A bit premature, but she's caught up now. They must go to the right of that first weaving pole. That's why they're pushing them out there and then in and out alternately after that. So around here, sharp turn to the right and into that tunnel. And now this is where they can pick up some time, getting a tight turn around there. And now they stretch their legs right back across the arena, into the tunnel at the opposite end. Must keep them out there. Nicely done. Oh, you can see she knows what she's done. That's the pressure of running at Crofts. An elimination, but never mind. Put your hands together for Debbie Martin. It's very difficult because you they haven't seen the course before, they've had to memorise it in about two or three minutes. And then you've also got the dog to think about when you're out there. But anyway, anyone from Ireland? One or two, this is Declan Dolan. He's from Dublin. And he keeps telling me every year that he runs the best boarding kennels in Ireland. And this is Bonnie of Majuba. Regular visitor to Crufts this pairing. Usually do very well. Third time representing Ireland across. Very, very proud to represent your country here at the best dog show in the world. This is the best agility dog in Southern Ireland for the last two years. And this dog was actually given to Declan as a present, and he said it's the best present he's ever had. Lovely, willing dog, this. If anybody ever tells you that these dogs don't enjoy what they do, they don't know what they're talking about. Declan. That looks like it's going to be the bogey jump. That kennel club jump is looking right at them as they're coming round there at speed. But anyway, put your hands together. Go on, give them a nice round of applause. That's Declan Dolan from Dublin with Bonnie. And now representing Scotland. Can always trust the Scots to give us a big cheer. And this is Kenny Spottiswood, and he's from Dundee, and this is Knight, the three-year-old Border Collie. Now, in this country, uh, this is regarded as quite a young dog. It's only three years of age. They're not allowed to start competing under British rules until they're 18 months, and that's to give them a chance to fully mature and develop. So, as you say, he's only been competing now for three years, and he's representing Scotland here at Crufts. Down nicely through the weaves. So if you can, just take your eyes off the dog. Just watch the handler. See where he is. See what he's telling the dog to do. How he's telling it. These handlers do make it look very easy, but I can assure you there's been many hours and days and months of hard practice gone into this. The dogs absolutely love it, but they do need training properly. Goes around the other way for that jump. One more to go. Come on, Kenny. Looking at the scoreboard is Priya, 33-3-0, puts him into third place. So put your hands together all the way from Croatia, would you believe? Croatia do fantastically well each year at the World Championships. Uh, not a place that you'd naturally associate with dog agility, but as I say, it really is a worldwide sport. And this is Tanya James, and this is Rudy and it's not quite three years of age, because this is a Croatian sheepdog with plenty to say for itself. Here we go. How do they do it in Croatia? Exactly the same as we do it over here. Look at that lovely start through the weaves. Wanting a nice tight turn, talking to the dog. It's only the language that changes. He's telling her what he thinks about this, isn't he? He's having a great time into that tunnel, got to keep them out there. That's the tricky bit. Now they've got to keep them off this jump. Nicely done, two more to go. Give her a cheer, come on, Tanya. Wow, 30.39. 
into the lead she goes. So Croatia leading as we now come and give a great big round of applause for Denmark. Sarah Lawrenson. This is a six-year-old border collie, Simic. Been to the World Championships on a number of occasions now with this dog, this pairing. Look at that lovely style through the weaves. Wasting no time, nice tight turns. Look at it come around the wing of that jump. Stretching out now, this is where the control comes in. Tight round that jump. Now they open up their legs again. This course has been set to test handler and dog as a pairing, and it is about a pairing here. Come on, and one more to go, Sarah. Oh, she'll be pleased with that. Denmark, 29, 29, and into the lead she goes. Continues to get better and better. We do have the best of the best. We've got world champions. We've got European champions. In fact, Sarah, I think, was a uh, world champion at one stage. Three years ago, still good. From Holland! <laughs> Kathy McDonald. Just picking up a refusal there for going round the dog. This is where it gets a bit confusing. Kathy's actually been living in Holland for a number of years now, although she's actually from Scotland. So it's... Uh, when you talk to Cathy, it's a bit like a Netherlands accent with a bit of Scots thrown in. But lovely dog, this good pairing. Eight years of old age now, this one. This is the Dutch Agility Champion. You see her talking to the dog in English. Just one more to go. Come on, Cathy. Really good starts. Cathy McDonald just picking up five faults, 35 1 2. But all may not be lost. Uh, you don't necessarily have to win this competition to go through. As I say, we've got two parts today, one this morning, one this afternoon, and then they combine the results of both to look for the top 16 or so to go through to the final this evening. So from Poland, give her a good shout. This is Magdalena Zikowska. She's actually from Warsaw. She's actually been competing in another couple of competitions we've had here over the last couple of days. Travels quite regularly now to the UK to do agility. Usually comes over for the International Festival held by the Kennel Club in August. It's much easier to travel with your dog these days than it used to be. Look at this, no time wasted at all. Lots of commands, nice high pitch, two more to go. This is gonna be a fantastic time. Is it enough to go into the lead? I don't think so, quite into second place. Clear round 29.46. So, sub, sub 30 is going to win this, we know that now. So, from Wales! I didn't think he was going to get a shout at all there. Eh? What the Welsh done to upset it? This is Stuart Harms now with Binker. Working sheep dog now, six and a half years of age. This dog's called Knob Bag, and uh, I've had a Welsh lesson, lesson that means little knob in Welsh. So, I continue to improve myself year on year. Oh, and he's just pushed him wide of those weaving poles. They must go in between the first and second pole and to the right of the first pole, otherwise they get faulted. And that's what happened there, he missed the entry. But as you can see, nice tight turns. It's about the combined result. So although Stuart's got five, there's still everything to play for in these competitions. Stuart trying to be there all the time for his dog. Two more to go, give him a shout. Go on, Stuart. Stuart Harms with Binker from Wales. So now from France. From France, come on, give him a shout. From Toulouse, this is Frederick Durand. Mateo, six-year-old border collie. He's been uh, a member of the French World Championship team uh, four times, 2005 to 2008. As you can see, everybody's got their own different styles of handling. It doesn't matter. The only thing you can't do, you can't touch the dog. You can make as much noise as you want. See, Frederick's got uh, quite long legs, so he's in front of the dog there, telling it where he wants it to go. Here we go around here. Pulling the dog off that kennel club jump that's fallen foul of a few more. Well done to Frederick, clear round. Looking at the time, 29, 79, puts him into third place. 
and they are representing Switzerland. <laughs> Catherine Tasker with Cheeky, and they're actually uh, residing at the moment in Woking in Surrey. This dog's only at two and a half years of age. Catherine was at the Olympia Hall show just before Christmas and won the Novice Stakes final. Did fantastically well. Look at this dog. Still only two and a half years of age, which means it's only been competing for 12 months. Oh, and he's just skipped a pole. They must go in and out alternately. If they miss one in the middle, they pick up a fault. And that's what's happened there to Catherine. But again, she'll carry on. As you say, it's the combined results. So she could uh, well go through with folks to this, after this evening's final. That's what they're all trying to do. Although we've got individual awards for the, the two parts today. It's the overall champion. And oh, he was going to do that jump, whatever I think, Catherine. Never mind, that's elimination. Put your hands together for Catherine Tasker representing Switzerland. Are you ready to shout? Representing England! David Munnings and the fabulous Dobby. I'm a bit biased. This dog is only just four years of age, was the youngest male um, agility champion at the time when he got made up. Won the large dog championships at Olympia. Dog with bags of potential, really is. I mean, he's done well, but I think he's got more to come. Stretches out, brilliant. Looking dog, this David's an absolutely fantastic handler. Can he keep him off that one? Just two more to go. Keep the poles up, David. Uh, David Mullins and Dobby 29 2 4. And into the lead he goes. So now from Belgium. Come on, you've got to treat everyone in glue. They've come a long way to entertain you and to compete here at Crafts. This is Sally Andrews from Belgium with Banjo, a six-year-old Border Collie. Best dog uh, in Belgium through various competitions in 2006, 7 and 8. Third in the World Championship in 2008. Absolutely fantastic dog. This Sally's done tremendously well with him. You may think, oh, there's a lot of Border Collies. Yes, Border Collies are the predominant breed in agility, but you can do it with any dog you want to, certainly in this country you can. You don't have to have a pedigree. How's it going with Sally? She's hanging on in there. Just two more to go, just a wall to go. Well done to Sally Andrews, clear 32.06. Puts her into seventh place. Well done to Sally. I think we've got four more to go. So representing the US of A. I think this is his second time here. This is Marcus Tops with Juice. Eight and a half year old Border Collie. He's, uh, he's won numerous United States Championships. He's a member of the USA World Championship team. And he was the FCI World Champion in 2008. Brilliant dog. Did really well here last year. Great dog, look at him. Still got lots to say for himself. As you can say, we've got people here from all over the world, but they handle the dogs exactly the same. Again, picking up five faults, but it's not the end of the world. And another one. So ten faults, but he hasn't been eliminated, and that's the crucial thing here. Come on, Marcus. Big round of applause. Marcus Tops from the USA. These dogs do fantastically well. This dog's come halfway around the world to compete here, uh, and it really is a, a big event. And. Uh, does, they do just do fantastically well, anyway. So now, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Spain. <laughs> sorry, Portugal. It's got Spain. I, I'm sorry. My apologies, Portugal. It says somebody's written Spain on top of my card. From Portugal, I'm sorry. Sergio Sousa from Lisbon, which is in Portugal. Six-year-old border collie. Kilibre Ben. Oh dear, never mind, this is why they pay me so much doing this job, you see. So, more importantly, how's Sergio getting on? He's clear so far, into that cloth tunnel. Can he get a nice tight turn around here? Yes, he can. Down to the end. 
Keeps him out there, does a blind turn, what they call a blind turn. Turns in front of the dog, does the dog can see him at all times. One more to go. Come on, Sergio. Yes, well done. 30.51, puts him into sixth place. And again, my apologies to Portugal. So now from Italy, hopefully. <laughs> Francesca Zanti, six-year-old border collie. This is called Funky. Great name for a dog. So, how's this pairing going to get on? As I say, all the way from Italy. Been on the Italian team on a number of occasions this. Very experienced dog, six years of age. Just about coming now to the peak of its form. Look at that, just right the way through those weaves. The equipment just about worldwide remains very much the same. The jump heights now I think are the same. Uh, the difference between the weaving poles alters slightly uh, between the FCI and our rules. But apart from that, I think most of it's the same the whole world over, as they say. Just having fun with your dogs, enjoying it, and trying to beat everybody else. Come on, just one more to go for Italy. Yes, Francesca Zanti, 31-29. Clear around, puts her into seventh place. So now we've got just one more competitor to go, so please give a great big cheer for Norway. Thomas Thiessen, it's a seven-year-old border collie called Kito. Nordic, this is a Nordic agility champion. Lovely looking border collie this. Doesn't really matter what they look like in this sport though. Has a pole down, but as I say, you've got to keep going. You've just got to worry about what you're going to do. Let everybody else worry about what they've done. You can still make the team or oh, the final later on this evening. Barking his enjoyment, says, come on. Opt opting to push the dog, oh, a bit of wheel spin there, but he's in. So still just running on these five faults, looking for a tight turn. One more to go, and that's Thomas Thiessen from Norway. So to make the awards, we're going to invite our judge, Mrs. Amanda Rogers, to make the presentations. And the winner of round one of the Crofts International Agility Competition Representing England, David Mullins! In second place, representing Denmark, was Sarah Larsson. And in third place, representing Poland, was Magdalena Zagaska.